Republicans and even some Democrats are out to scare you about Medicare for All. They say it's going to dismantle health care as we know it and will cost way too much. Rubbish. Here's how much the typical American family now spends on health insurance premiums each year. And here I add in the co-payments and deductibles that doctors, hospitals, and drug companies also charge you and typical out-of-pocket expenses for pharmaceuticals. But that's not all, because some of the taxes you now pay are for health insurance too, for Medicare and Medicaid and for the Affordable Care Act. So let's add them in again for the typical American household. That's a whopping $8,975 a year. Oh, and this number is expected to rise in the coming years. Not a pretty picture. If you're a typical American, you're already paying far more for health insurance than people in any other advanced country. And you're not getting your money's worth. The United States ranks near the bottom for lifespan and infant mortality. Or maybe you're one of the 30 million Americans who don't have any health insurance coverage at all. You see, a big reason we pay so much for health insurance is the administrative costs involved in private, for-profit, corporate insurance. About a third of what you pay goes to the people who oversee billing and collections. And then, of course, there are the marketing and advertising expenses and the profits that go to shareholders or private equity managers. Now, what happens if we have Medicare for all? Let's first consider a limited version that keeps private insurance, as proposed by candidates, including Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, and Kamala Harris. Now, the insurance costs remain the same because it's the same private insurers and the same co-payments and deductibles. The only difference is more of this would be paid through your taxes rather than by you directly because the government would reimburse the insurance companies. This could help bring down costs by giving the government more bargaining leverage to get better prices, uh, but we don't know yet how much. Now, let's talk about a different version of Medicare for All that replaces private for-profit corporate health insurance, as proposed by Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. In this version, total costs, including a possible combination of premiums, co-payments, deductibles, or taxes, are even lower. So you'd come out ahead, and everyone would be covered. This option is far cheaper because it doesn't have all those administrative expenses or the marketing and advertising. It's public insurance that reimburses hospitals, doctors, and pharmaceutical companies directly and eliminates the bloat of private corporate insurance companies. You'd keep your same doctor or other healthcare provider, and you could still buy private insurance to supplement Medicare for All just like some people currently buy private insurance to supplement Medicare and Social Security. The only thing that's changed is you no longer pay the private, for-profit, corporate insurers. Economists at the University of Massachusetts Amherst say Medicare for All that replaces private, for-profit insurance would reduce costs by about 10%, mostly from lower administrative and drug costs. The Urban Institute estimates that households and businesses would save about $21.9 trillion over 10 years. And state and local governments would save $4.1 trillion. Any Medicare for All is better than our present system. But the second version is far better, because like Medicare and Social Security, it is based on the simple and proven idea that we shouldn't be paying private, for-profit corporate insurers boatloads of money to get the insurance we need. It's time for true Medicare for all. At the rate that healthcare costs are growing, by the time you are 45, you are gonna be spending a third of everything you earn on health insurance or co-payments and deductibles. How does that make you feel? Not great, Bob. Not great. Well, then we got to do something about it. I, I think mean, so. Uh, and that's why Medicare for All is absolutely critically important. I agree. What do you think? Head to the comments and tell us about your experiences with your insurance company. If you found this video informative, please also watch our video, It's Time for Medicare for All. 
And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.